Now, this is an army issue pistol bag. Now, I found this on the highway a thousand miles back, right? And uh, I use it as the incidental bag to carry other stuff, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, like, like my little tools, my universal screwdriver, my mechanic flat blade screwdriver, that right? tweezers, hemostats, right? Uh, car mix, right? signaling mirror, see that? Signaling mirror, right? Uh, little, little elephant dude. The elephant dude that we found over there by the bridge where uh, Trump sucks, Trump don't surf. Right? The elephant dude. Right? And, you know, other stuff. That right? the freaking the sanding rock, you know, it's actually a piece of gypsum. Right? And, uh, you know, extra ace bandage. That's right? some other stuff, you know, lens cleaning thing for my glasses, extra book of matches. That right? uh, rubber bands, my click fork, you know, from the sorry ass fucking soups. What's his name's um, uh, Burt's Bees, Lip Balm, the same, you know, cuticle stuff, extra batteries for the camera, oh, and uh, the magnifying glass, so we can make fire in case you have to. Here, let, let, me get, let me get that in the frame. Why don't you just make a bomb school on that? Uh, make fire in case you have to. Uh, and uh, in the main compartment here, so these are two. These are two magazine compartments. These hold the extra magazines for your pistols, right? Or, or your, you know, or your M1 or whatever. You know what in the main compartment, this is how big it is. That extra bag of sriracha sauce and soy sauces. This is how big it is. It holds, see, and you can see. Look, it's you know, it holds a whole liter and a half bottle of water, plus all this other stuff. That's the sugar bag. The crazy, you know, the crazy, the crazy flashlight magnet thing that we found the other day. Right? That, yeah, yeah, yes, this is this is really is a magnet. That right? really is. But right? bottle opener, extra tent string, right? Grip squeezer tool, that right? you know, and, and you know, a bunch of junk stuff. There, there's, there's the dental floss for some things up. But my point is this, look. This is my point. You can see it hangs on the front. The way I hang it on the on the bag is I hang the strap over the over the sleeping mat and the back and the and the sleeping bag like that, and it hangs right here against the fork. And you can see that it's rubbed. It's had its share of rubs along the tire, but you don't see any holes in it, like the food bag rubbed up in a minute. Now this is a genuine army issue, right? Pistol bag. Now. You can go down to your local Army Navy store and you can buy these things like mad chickens. See, look, here's the cool part. There's this part I really like. That it's got this extra flap here so that, you know, you can actually seal it up a little bit, tuck the flaps in, and you can keep the rainwater out of the corners. Right? It's got an extra long, durable shoulder strap in the sand that you can put over your shoulder like this. You can carry it like that. So remember, it's a pistol bag. You know what I'm saying? You're always ready. Right? You can use it for. As you can see, you can use it for any any kind of bullshit that you want, you know, seeing out there on the road. But, but my point is this, is that these bags are absolutely durable. Right? They'll put up with anything, they'll carry anything, they'll tolerate anything. Hell, you fucking wind that sucker up, you could probably knock a motherfucker's head clean off if you needed to. You know, they could use it for a purse, for a pepper, pepper purse. And so a few beads on it, you know what I'm saying? Maybe draw some cool, you know, let your kid draw some cool shit with some fucking colored markers. These things are cheap at the Army Navy surplus store. I probably bet you wouldn't pay more than 20 bucks for, you know, for a bigger one or smaller one, you know what I'm saying? Right? This one here, I'm never gonna throw down, I'm never gonna throw in the trash. That, that it could have holes all over, that sew it all back up. I'd, I'd use my underwear to sew patches on this bag. That's how enamored I am with this bag. I don't ever get mad at this bag. I don't ever get angry at this bag. The only time we got mad at us when we found it and found out that what was in it was fake. Yeah, what was in it was fake. I was mad as fuck then. But not anymore. Watch, see what, see what, see? Slips right in. Look at that. And, you know what I'm saying, there's still room for all of this other stuff. 
So, if you are lucky one day and you happen to come across a bag like this, pick it up. Flip it over your shoulder. Alright? Put it in your fucking behind the seat of your four-wheel drive redneck truck. Give it to your old lady for a purse. Stash it in the closet. Put it with your camping gear. Tie it onto your bike. U.S. Army issue pistol bags that are better, the best fucking road bag that you can find. And you know what they're really good for? Pistols. Extra magazines. For when you're out there in the bushes. Right? Because there's going to come a day. This is me, Brian. Thank you.